A long, grueling day for firefighters and residents of the complex waiting to see the extent of the damage. We have team coverage tonight, starting with CBS 2's Charlie DeMar. He's live at the scene for us. Charlie. And Rob, good evening. This fire continues to burn. We are now well over eight hours since it started earlier this afternoon. Behind me, firefighters are still dumping water on this fire. Once it is eventually out, then the investigation will, be, will begin. But the fire department here in Prospect Heights already looking into claims that a young boy home alone was playing with fire. And I've just been standing here watching my house burn down ever since. Monica Alvarez, like so many others tonight, forced to watch their Prospect Heights condominiums burn before their eyes. I never thought this would happen to me and my kid. From above, you can see smoke and flames rip through the apartment complex. The fire spreading and destroying three out of the four adjoining apartment buildings, each three stories high. The fire had spread all the way towards my house, and then I have two cats, and one got out, but the other one's still in there. Over 150 firefighters from more than 50 departments were called in to try and contain the fire. It started around 1.30 this afternoon and continued well into the night. The building's old construction creating a major challenge. It's basically a glorified toothpick design. It's you know structurally sound except when there's a big fire. Then it doesn't perform well because it has no mass, has no fire resistance. The cause of the fire is unknown, but the Prospect Heights fire chief says they are looking into claims of a young boy home alone playing with matches or a lighter. I've heard those reports, and, and we will substantiate or refute that as part of our comprehensive investigation into the cause and origin of this fire. And the fire department also telling us that there are no sprinklers throughout this condo uh, complex, creating just another challenge here tonight. Two residents, along with a firefighter, were treated for minor injuries tonight. They are expected to be okay. Firefighters will be out here throughout the night dumping water on this to try and get a better handle on this fire. Of course, this fire displaced so many people. Dana Kozlov now joining us from Arlington Heights with what's next for those people. Yeah, Charlie, we are just a couple miles west of you at Lakewood Chapel, which tonight is being set up as a Red Cross shelter for some of those victims. They can come here, they can sleep, they can eat uh, if they need to. Potentially, 100 families or more have been impacted by this fire. So now they can come here and to several other shelters being set up tonight to try to figure out what to do next. It's been hours since Margaret Fournier came home from work to find her condo building in flames. She spent those hours coming to terms with what she's lost. They don't let me go in then. As far as I know, I have only this what I have. Everything else is, I have no clue what survived inside. Hundreds of people now with nowhere to go spent the afternoon and early evening sitting and watching firefighters battle the five alarm blaze, many wondering. We left our cat inside and we're like not sure if he'll, she's going to be there now. Many in disbelief, like Ashley Appleby. She and her family just moved in three weeks ago. We literally have lost everything. Everything possible for my two kids and my husband and me. Even more terrifying. It was my son was actually home alone. Me and my husband were at work, and I got the call from him that he had just jumped out of the balcony into an officer's arms. Where did the fire start in relation to your apartment? My apartment. It was your apartment? Yeah. They don't fully know what happened. They have not told me anything, just we know it started in my apartment. As Charlie is reporting, though, the fire department still investigating the origin and the cause of that fire tonight. That is still under investigation. The fire chief did say earlier, of course, they want to first save lives and save structures, but they also want to try to save people's things. And he is sad he wasn't able to do that in the case of 96 condos damaged by this blaze. We are live at a Red Cross shelter in Arlington Heights. Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Rob. Amazing that you're talking to the woman who's had the fire start in her own apartment, Dana. That had to be really tough on her. Well, it, that's what she believes right now. Of course, that's still being worked out, but yeah, it was. Okay, Dana Costa.